Hi guys, sorry for the background noise. My baby brother is here. <gasps> Say hi. <laughs> ah. Anyway, yeah. So sorry if you hear background noise. Um, I cut my finger with the bleed. Awesome. So what you're gonna needing is a blade, and this is the one that I cut my finger on. Curse you, blade. Actually, it was my fault because I was going like that to my finger, like sliding it across my finger. Yeah. You're gonna need some white clay. I have like a reddish white, almost pink, light pink clay, and some blue clay. <laughs> so let's get started. And I got this idea from. Oh, you're also gonna be needing a rolling pin. And I got this idea from um, Gentleman Bunny or Tony Ellenson. I'm not really sure, but it was one of them. I know it was one of them. Yeah. Okay, so get your rolling, get your white and condition it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then you don't need a lot, but I just got a lot. It was extra. And then roll it out. I personally don't like using white because dust attracts to it. But now just cut it out into a rectangle. Not a square, but a rectangle. And I'm pretty sure all of you know what a rectangle is. And if you don't, well, we're in your shapes. Anyway, um, so this is what I, my rectangle looks like. So now, are you okay? Okay. So now, you wanna cut it down into three pieces. And I'm not doing this exactly like Gentleman Bunny did. Anyway, that is one of my pieces. The next, and that's the last one. So now take the extra clay that you have and put it away. But you are gonna be needing it, so just make sure you have it near you. And now take your blue, and mine is like pearlized blue, but you can just use regular blue. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, um, my clay is dirty, so let me just condition it a little bit more. When you condition it, your colors of clay mix it, so you kind of want to condition it more. But anyway, now roll it into a ball after you condition it and make it start forming it into a box. And then take one of your clay pieces and start. Do not put anything on the top. So start from the bot, um, the edge of it, and wrap it around to the bottom. And if you need to cut it to make it the right size, go right ahead. Anyway, um, yeah. Then you want to take your that side, take one of your strips and place it on. And again, if you need to cut it, go right ahead. And there's your Tiffany's block. And the third one, you basically put one at the bottom if you want, but I'm not going to right now. So now that you have your little present and the back that is, you know, not filled in, you want to take a little piece of your polymer clay and make it a tiny little T. 
So form a uppercase T or your lowercase T, and you can do this with um, whatever clay color you want. So yes, I'm going to take out my red, a little bit of red, and make a T. So basically, all you need is two lines of clay. And form a T. So there's your little Tiffany's box. And it's not exactly like how I wanted it to be out, but it turned out pretty good, so I'm happy with it. And I like to flatten down the T so you can just make it a normal present but when you flip it over it says a tea on for Tiffany's that's how I like doing mine but you can do it in whatever way you want you don't even have to write the tea actually so anyway I just like to so yeah I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and the reason why sorry about that the reason why I told you to keep your pink near you is because if you wanted to make the tea that color you would have to have that put near you, but obviously I didn't put it that color. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, and that's how you make your own very cute, kawaii, well, almost kawaii, um, clay Tiffany's box. And you can add an eye pin and do all the stuff you want to it. You can personalize it. You can put rhinestones on it. You can do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later, and bye.